Music Guy is asking, what are your thoughts on Iran's new Iron Dome? Are people in Iran talking about it? Some people think it's a waste of money. Well, I will toss this one over to our local Iranian analytical expert <laughs> <laughs> for his analysis. Okay, so here, well, it's actually hard to analyze this because every report for not. I mean, so far, unless I'm, there's an update that I haven't seen, uh, the report we're getting on this Iran's Iron Dome, by the way, for people who don't know why it's been called, what's an Iron Dome, what's been, what's, this is in reference to Israel's Iron Dome, which is a very <laughs> technological marvel that it's, you know, that it's just amazing. It seems like a gift from the gods above as a way to protect the, uh, uh, the civilians. Like the way it works is just remarkable. It just seems like it shouldn't be possible. Um, it basically, it's Israeli defense system where missiles that are coming into Israel, they just get taken out by missiles that, you know how like in like movies, like it's ridiculous, like childish cartoonish movies where somebody shoots a bullet at you and somebody else defends themselves by shooting their own gun and the bullet hits the bullet in midair and just that's how you like you think you, know, you see how ridiculous that seems that's what they have managed to accomplish okay there, there's missiles that are hitting other missiles midair at a such high success rate and you think like how is this this is this shouldn't be possible this seems like it should be a technology where it shouldn't be happening in our lifetime but here it is okay and yeah and and it's really it's completely it's what it was a form of military expenditure where you have to defend because it's basically saving civilians on both sides actually right it's, it's saving israeli civilians and it's also saving palestinian civilians by the fact that um it it makes it if more israelis civilians had died it would have may, opened the door to a much heavier counter attack by israelis and more Palestinians would have died. So in that sense, it's also saving Palestinians. So Iran is now says that it has an Iron Dome. The reason why it's hard to comment on that is because it has been reported to be very successful in the tests, but by themselves, right? So I don't know. Like, I don't know what they what have happened. Like, so these people are saying, like, we tested it. We had carried out some tests and it was fantastic like I don't know. well maybe i don't know but they it seems like they want to portray that that they, and when it comes to themselves as when it comes to the techno military technology they wanted to act like they're the, at the same level as israel which is laughable and ridiculous if that's what they're trying to if if that's what they're trying to suggest um i'm not saying what they have is useless but obviously I think it's obvious that whatever they're having and they're calling it Iron Dome, it's not going to be able to hold the candle to the Iron Dome that Israel has, right? Um, apparently, it was made after a South African model. I'm not sure if that's correct. Uh, but also, another thing you can say about it is that it's, again, these are, these are just guesses. It could be also in response to Israel announcing $1 billion in funding for attacks on Iran. Did you hear about that? So Israel has decided to um, increase the budget on anti-Iran in Iran's, you know, board, within Iran border attacks. So in the recent budget. Oh and, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and I think oh. this is a response. <laughs> and you're like, damn, we need to like up the defense. Because guys, when these it's very interesting with Israel, you have to understand this is not just military. Um, you know, when Israel comes in, we, we're increasing the funding on attacks on Iran. Um, and Iran comes in and says, like, we oh, we have our own Iron Dome now. This is not just a military one military response in response to another military response, okay? Just the announcement of this extra funding. It's also a propaganda war by Israel and the announcement, like the, 
the announcements themselves are part of the war. You know what I mean? On the marketing and a propaganda, on a like um, recruiting, on a like faith building. These are, you know, so this is, you know, is Israel could actually, you know, do some. Israel is not just doing attacks on Iranian borders. Like it used to be more secretive about these things. Now they're becoming more obvious and open and like, hey, we're going to do this. We're coming at you. Right. So there's, I mean, there's after a psycho you, as, psychological warfare. Yeah. After you assassinate a country's top nuclear scientist inside their own borders, like right. it's hard to be uh, like behind the curtain about that kind of thing. <laughs> Right. And also Qasem is correct. It was not one billion dollars. It was one point five billion dollars. Oh, excuse me. No, that's a, that's a lot more. That's like and I know. More. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Ababi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.